Hi, it's Jeffer. In this video, I'm going to talk a bit about Len White's awesome color wheel extension for Photoshop. He offers it as a uh, free download on his website, lenwhite.com. His uh, painter's wheel works in CS6 and also Creative Cloud, and he has a version of it for uh, CS4 and 5, but uh, you can use his CS6 uh, painter's wheel in Photoshop CS5 and it works great. Its uh, color scheme matches CS6, but if you don't mind that, it has a few more features, and I certainly can recommend that version if you're using Photoshop uh, CS5. So anyhow, let's get started. The color wheel in the center is laid out like any other color wheel that you have seen before, I'm sure. And you can simply left-click anywhere on this wheel to select the hue that you'd like. Once you do that, it's added to this chip in the center. This chip gives you all the values of that hue with uh, tints all the way to white and shades all the way to black. And then the more you move through the chip to the left, the more the color becomes desaturated. Now let's talk about these color chips here at the top. Whatever you select from the color wheel or the uh, center chip below, it'll automatically update the color chip to the left here. By clicking on that left chip, you can add it to the right chip. In the center between those two chips is this little tool that allows you to scroll through the color choices you've made by clicking on the arrows either to the left to move backwards through them, or forward by clicking on the arrow to the right. The little black button in the center resets this tool. I'm not really sure why that function's included, but it's there if you need it. Once you have the two colors selected up top, you can add them to the bar at the bottom by clicking on the white button here. Now its default is a four-step blend between white and black, but once you click on the white button, it'll add the colors you have at the top and down here below. Then Len added this little plus and minus button over here to the left, so you can add as many blends between them as you'd like. Now let's scoot on back to the top here. There's a settings box that will open if you click on it. And in that box, you can enable Lens uh, Painter's Wheel to update Photoshop's color while dragging. Now let's uh, move on to how to get this installed in your version of Photoshop. And to get it, all you gotta do is head on over to lenwhite.com and download the file to your computer. Now you will need to unzip it. I use WinRAR, which offers a free uh, trial copy, and you can use that to unzip with if you'd like. Now once you have the zip uh, file downloaded to your computer and unzipped, then uh, Len White has a README file that he includes, so look in that to confirm where to put the Painter's Wheel folder on your computer. If you are using 64-bit Windows and Photoshop, you'll also need to make sure that you add the folder to two locations on your computer. So once you have uh, the folders installed in the right places on your computer, let's uh, move on on how to find it in Photoshop. If, uh, by the way, you have Photoshop open already, it'll be important for you to close it and reopen it. Uh, this will make sure that Photoshop can find those folders that you've just installed. So once you have Photoshop open, look across the top menu choices. At the very top, of course, you'll see File at the far left, and then look for Windows. It'll be along to the right in my computer on Photoshop. It's about mid-center. Uh, click on that window, and a dialog box will open. So then look for Extensions, which uh, should be the third item from the top. If you hover over that, then it'll open a dialog box that will show you different choices for the extensions, and just look for Painter's Wheel. Click on that, and lo and behold, you're golden, and you should have the painter's wheel there uh, staring you in the face in Photoshop. So, of course, if you have any questions about any of this, uh, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Usually what happens if I can't answer it, uh, someone will come along who can. And I'd love to have you check out my YouTube channel for other tutorial videos. I have some speed painting videos, and even some 3D stuff up there, so uh, please check that out. I'd love to have you subscribe as well, and that way you'll be kept up to date when I post other videos. 
please visit my uh, blog or website and check out my artwork as well. I'll put the links down below in the description. And thanks for watching. Hope this helps out. Have a good one. Ciao.